Okay, hey everyone, this is going to be the first episode of our little series on Battle Chasers Night War. I literally just downloaded this this morning, I have not really heard anything about it. Um, I did just do a quick little check on it, uh, it apparently came out a couple of years ago, it's a JRPG. I obviously downloaded it because I saw that it was like a turn-based combat system in an RPG game, which I absolutely love. Love the Divinity games, completed both of those. I've been waiting for another one. We've got Baldur's Gate 3 coming out, which I think is going to be pretty similar as well. Although I think that one has the, the kind of like pause it during combat thing, as, as I think the old Bald Baldur's Gate ones did. Um, however, in the meantime, we're going to go for this. I think it's based on a comic book series. It did come out a couple of years ago. I've never heard of it. But like I say, free on the Xbox Game Pass thing. So if you fancy playing it, if you like the look of it, feel free to download it. I know not really anything about it beyond that. I haven't even checked it out on YouTube or anything like that. Um, the only other thing I know about it is that just before this title screen there was an awesome little intro clip which looked like it was right out of like an 80s or 90s cartoon series that I used to watch when, well, I mean if it was in the 90s then I was very young then, wasn't even there in the 80s. Um, but very, very nostalgic. It reminds me of like sort of, um, so it's like the, the old, proper old sort of like Dungeons and Dragons uh, cartoon series, like the animated one. start a new game here and we're gonna get started so let's go on to I did just go on to it a moment ago I'm gonna do new game though we'll go over the same slot there oh yeah empty slot new game just start from scratch now it's got a little bit intro bit I'm gonna let this play without talking so that you can enjoy years have passed since the great warrior and leader of men, Aramis, vanished. Left behind were his mighty gauntlets, artifacts of untold power, giving their wielder the strength to move mountains as the stories were told. Also left behind was his daughter, Gully. She discovered her father's gauntlets, setting in motion the events that would make her a target of great importance and bring her into the company of her greatest defenders. Nolan, the wise and mighty wizard, whose tongue is as sharp as his wit. His mysterious companion, Calabretto, a war golem of immense power. Garrison, a swordsman, once brother in arms to Aramis, now sworn to protect his only living kin. And the rogue, Red Monica, who can be foe as quickly as friend. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. Nolan, on a personal quest to learn more about mana, which fuels the world's magic and technology, has led the group towards a mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Isle. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. Okay, well that right there is a well-balanced D&D party if I've ever seen one. Got there, a warrior, a tank, a rogue, a wizard. 
Um, and then even the, the sh very short gully, I think her name was there, wasn't it? Um, and obviously these gauntlets of power as well. Uh, it's quite a few characters there. I'm not sure if we're playing as all of them. The entire party. Oh, what have we got here? So ah, so this the uh, yeah looks like an airship. There. Oh no. On. Oh okay. That ship's much bigger than ours. What are you waiting for? Shoot back. With what? It's a stealth ship. This is <laughs> stealth. Just do something. It's always on me, ain't it? She seems far too relaxed at the moment, considering there were rockets being fired at her ship. These kids don't know how easy they've got it. <laughs> we're being boarded. <laughs> Get below deck. You break easier than I do, remember? More incoming, port side. Oh no. Gully, what? Ooh, okay. Gully. I've got you. Looks like it's just me and, uh, <laughs> figures. Oh no, um, is that a wizard? Is he, is he gone? No, of course he's not. He'll still be there somewhere. Okay, so obviously this game uses the very classic mana system there. Um, I assume we've got to probably level that one up if we want to be nice and magical I have no idea at the moment even about whether we've got to oh here we are we are in okay so it looks like we're playing as gully straight away she says we made it or at least uh yeah there you go so it's just her by herself oh well yeah the animation on this is quite nice i've got to be said she doesn't know where garrison is uh he's been nearby i'm guessing that he's probably going to be the closest one looks like we've got a campfire here i'm going to see items so we've got um ah yeah there we go so we've got some mana and healing as well i think i need that don't i yeah for the hp there we go i'll use that straight away and at the moment it looks like it's got straight up attack on the floor there oh we only got so many of these apparently there's a three symbol next to it don't know whether they regenerate or not i probably shouldn't have done that <laughs> they're pretty sure that i've already just wasted some some attacks i mean they should regenerate so we've got debris here is there anything we can do with it no, it's like we're just exploring still. I would say it's a, quite a pretty game, actually. It's, it's nice to have a look at. <laughs> the water effects are pretty basic there, but can't expect too much out of a. Uh, this was all funded on Kickstarter, uh, Kickstarter, I think. Ah, here we go. This is one of our friends. It's the Golem. Oh, he looks like he's a bit under the weather. Oh no, he's talking. I know. You're all right. Yes. Are you feeling better? Oh, I'm feeling You've wonderful. Been for a few hours. I guess I wasn't completely prepared for that cannon blast. <laughs> Was I dreaming, or did you leap off the ship to catch me? I did. Oh, that's How nice, do you isn't it? Down in one piece? Nolan. Oh, no, we no, fell no. through a portal he opened, placing us on the ground with only minor injuries. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice and one. What happened to him? Telling us exactly what happened we there. And Garrison? Garrison fell through the portal as well. Ah, oh, okay. Monica appears to be missing. Oh. And let's get moving. Okay, yeah, so Garrison's got to be around here. So, oh, okay, lovely. So Are Garrison's sure already met up with him. Well I'm still woozy, but I'll be fine. First, oh, I shouldn't have used my potion. Garrison. He's healing my wounds for me. Oh, he's joined the party. Oh, so I can. Ah, okay. Each party member has their own unique dungeon skills. You can swap out active party members in order to use each of his abilities. Ah, oh, lovely. Open compendium to check the skills and see what each hero's dungeon skills do. Okay, that's cool. So, Calabretto's, we call him Bretto. Bretto's revitalized dungeon skill can heal the party. Nice, so swap into him and heal your party up. Okay, so let's swap to him. And I can heal myself. There we go. Calabretto's healed. He's only got five of those. Ah, okay, so rather than going through like completely together, it is just a straight switch between characters. That's quite interesting, that is. I like that. Okay, well, I'm going to stay as Gully for now. Oh, does he have different items? No, we share items, I think. All right, so we're going to head this way up here. Uh, there's another part of the ship there. Oh, look out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I 
I, I don't think that was ever actually going to hurt me there. But let's go. This guy, this is big. I'm surprised it is healing actually, because I thought he was the tanky one. Ooh, yeah. Let's not walk with that. That looks very acidic. Ooh. Oh, it's a battle. Ah, and then both of us get to be in the battle. Ah, oh, that's really cool. Okay, I like that. All right, so we're playing as Gully first. So she got abilities, so she can scatter shots, protection. Uh, her main actions are either jab or defend. Should we use? I mean, scatter shot seems like yeah. To the target and nearby, but there's no real use in that place. Damage shield on an ally, yeah. There's no use doing really either of these. I'm gonna go straight up jab. So we're gonna jab it. There we go. It's down 13 HP. Let's have a look at this. So here's his obliterate. So he deals 22 damage over four hits. If sundered or bleeding, the enemy takes an additional seven. Uh, so that's 22 damage on that one, or his normal action is 14. But increases physical damage taken by 10% for three turns. So ideally, you'd want to use Gut Punch to begin with. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. So we're going to use Gut Punch. And now it has the Sunder effect, which means I think that it takes more damage. We've obviously taken some as well. Okay. Uh, get more info about buffs and debuffs in combat. Or in a dungeon. Okay. I'll do that. So he's got Slime Spit, so it deals... Ah, four piercing damage each tick. Each tick, I presume, is a turn. Uh, hopefully not. Yeah, I, I hope it's a round of combat rather than an actual turn. Um, so he's actually got Gut Punch again, or he can obliterate. Now it's obliterate. I think it does more damage if it's been sundered, which it is. So let's use that one. Oh, okay. She's just going to jab. There we go, that's 14 HP done. So he's prepared a blue Ah, okay, so it takes an appearing to do. And there we go, that worked. We've knocked it out. Ah, so that's the little combo there. So he needs to do gut punch and then he can do obliterate afterwards. And we got some XP. Nice. Okay. So what have we got here? Enemy slain, lightning fast. Okay, so we get some total XP and I think that then got split between us I believe so loot we got three is that just three gold coins I think there and we also got two common parts and two simple slime uh it itches I guess oh, I have no idea on that one all right let's carry on going I, I do have the heal but I don't think I'm going to use it yet because I'm not sure how much it heals for and I think it might be a bit more useful if we wait for it uh let's have a look items come okay so we've got white green blue purple and orange oh the usual ones to be fair that's the usual colour scheme, I think, isn't it, for Epic Item 6? It's the same one Divinity uses, I believe. Uh, it's having like a rethink. It's, it's been a long time since I played uh, Divinity Original Sin. Even the second one. Um, but I'm pretty sure it uses exactly the same colour scheme on those, going from common to legendary. Quite excited to see what kind of items there are in this. Oh, this looks different. Okay. Garrison went northeast looking for Monica and Nolan. We should head in that direction. Okay, I'm sure they're fine, but we should hurry just in case. Acknowledged. Okay, so we want to head northeast. Um, I'm, I'm, te I'm wondering what that like little bit. That looks like a creepy picture down there uh, towards like the bottom left instead. Okay, so we're gonna head this way. So this sort of like stops having to do loads and loads of running, which is pretty cool. Um, now, should we try and attack one of these creatures? Oh, there's a treasure chest there. I mean. Hold on a sec, let's have a look through this way as well. Is there a treasure chest down this way? Oh no, it's just two monsters. Um, I think it's probably best not to go straight for the monsters. I'm actually going to head... Okay, let's inspect this. The plant pointing east says, High Lake Village, with a message, not anymore. Carved cryptically into the wood directly. The rest is damaged and beyond. So, east should have been the village. What's this here? Oh, take all loot. Okay. Oh, okay, so there's just some right, things. There's also a crate here. I want this. Now, there's a monster on this bridge. Should we give that? Uh, I think at the moment, maybe should we avoid combat a little bit? Because there's only two of us. I think once we get the, the extra dude, we can come back here and take on these guys. Especially that one's near a treasure chest as well. That might be quite important to do. Ah, here he is. So we can pick him up right now, hopefully. Going. I'm glad you are right. Oh wow, I, I really love the way they've done this game. That's what you really did cool. during the airship. Battle, it, it does really remind me of like D and D with, you know, you've got your 
kind of like exploring the actual towns and dungeons that you, you set really straight but then when you're traveling from you know one town to another if you're going you know from sort of like Vandalin to Tribor or something like that you're you're then just doing it as well it's like four days travel so let's just roll for some random encounters um, and I guess here as well you can kind of take the routes that are that are straightforward and you don't get any encounters on I mean the main trade routes and things like that um, or you can head sort of like into the foresty areas and things. I, I wonder if there will ever be random encounters going along these roads so that I can't just straight up avoid things. Um, okay, so what did you do during the apeshit battle shielding the cannon blast? done the same for me. Yeah, I think I saved us, to be Maybe, fair. Maybe, but with... You're a brave kid, but remember, we don't fully understand the power of your father's gauntlets. Ah, uh, I can't wait to you fully understand them. I hope they're already a legend every item. I... had no choice. No. I guess I believe he was trying to thank you. <laughs> Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? I Probably not. Yeah. And this village looks long abandoned. Yeah, I could have told you that from the sign. Horizon to the east might be a town. We should investigate if they okay. survive. They... What do you mean if Nolan saved us? He can save himself. <laughs> well, I think Monica's too. fine. <laughs> Probably right. <laughs> she uh, she That's liked so it as a good rake always does. Garrison has joined the party. Should we see what Garrison can do? Oh, I'm not, come on, I don't think I can check at the moment, actually. I'm going to have to get into... Come on, right, we're going to check this little scroll out first. But then I want to go back and get some treasure. Okay, Spurs of War, the General Returns. So, one of four here. So, it's a handwritten journal entry on some parchment. So, uh, General... I was going to call it Saviour. I don't know if the T is silent in there, maybe? Um, so, General Saviour returned from the main front last night because he came in darkness. Have you got a good look at him? Other than to say he seemed well. Okay, the wars that's where have taken their toll on the outpost with ranks thinning and defensive practices becoming lax. I'm not sure Ravenheart even bothered to take his patrol last night, but then he always did seem the lazy sort. That should change with Xavier stalking the horse once more. Okay, fair enough. That didn't really tell me too much. I'm going to collect these plants here. Uh, I'm, do I'm doing this thing where whenever I'm exploring games, I see one thing and it's shiny and I just go straight for it. I need to remember, let's go back here, and I want to go deal with the treasure first, I think. So let's go take this dude on. Let's get into some combat. There we go, we've got a battle. Oh, it's a spider and a slime. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to tell you straight up that I am not a fan of spiders. <laughs> so, I've got an action. Alright, so we can do our gut punch straight away, which I think is the best. Oh, you can flee as well. Um, and use items during it. So I'm going to use my action straight away. I'm going to go for the gut punch. And ah, you can select target as well. Fantastic. All right. So I'm going to go for the gut punch. So it applies sunder, which is good, which is what we want. I'm going to do it on the spider. I want to get rid of the spider first. I know that slime's not too dangerous. Oh, the spider seems quite weak though. So overcharge is displayed in red next to your mana bar. It's generated by using regular actions. Overcharge is consumed in place of mana. Oh, fantastic. It goes away after combat, so make sure to use it while you can. Okay, so you can use the overcharge to do extra bits. All right, let's see then what... His name's it Garrison, isn't it? What Garrison can do. So Swift Strike deals 21 damage and generates 15 overcharge. That's good. Reduce all damage taken. Okay, so that's a parry. And then abilities. Oh, he's got three abilities. So Cleave. So it deals 18 damage to the target and a nearby one. Rally Strike does 34 damage and increases haste. Wow, for all party members by 10% for two turns. And then this one we've got Warblade consumes up to 40 overcharge, dealing 44 damage and adding 0.2 damage to each overcharge used. Oh, okay. So you need to overcharge before using Warblade. Cleave's good when you've got a group of enemies. I think I'm going to go for the basic one to get his overcharge up, and then I can use the other one next time. I don't know if I should be saving mana and such. Don't forget to conserve your energy for more difficult fights. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we'll go for the straight up jab. Yeah. You can see here, I'm playing quite attacking. I've not used any defensive things at the moment. I'm not sure whether that's going to change soon. At the moment, it seems as though our robot buddy is taking most of the hits. So I'm going to go for a straight up good punch. So I think we can take this dude down in one turn, no matter what we do. Actually, he is sundered. And I don't really want to waste mana when I don't really need to. Obviously, we've got the overcharge, so we could actually use something else. Yeah, it uses 15 mana, but that'll just use my 15 overcharge. So there you go. Boom, overkill, bonus XP. Oh, uh, okay. So you do get some bonus for doing overkill. So that is worth it, actually. If you've got the overcharge there, you may as well use it. 
Uh, why did Garrison get less XP than everybody else? That seems a little unfair. Oh, because he's already level 2, maybe? That's why he's got an extra ability. He's actually just generally better than everybody else. <laughs> okay, so we got some, again, looks like 4 gold there, comma parts, ruffle scraps, and digger silk. Alright, let's see what's in this treasure chest. I'm going to take all loot here. We got an outpost tunic. Can I wear this? Alright, I finally actually pressed start on here. Okay, let's see what we got. So, uh, okay, different weapons, different armor. Uh, should we see what everybody else has got? Ooh, how do I go to somebody? Ah, there you go. So I can flick through with LB. Oh, yeah, it says down there, next character. Oh, so it tells us our passive. Our dungeon skills as well are on there. So his dungeon skill is a dash oh, that avoids trap damage and adds a massive haste buff to Garrison if he initiates combat with it. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. I like that. Ground smash. Briefly stun all enemies nearby. Charges three out of six. I don't know how you get more charges and things like that. So I need to bear in mind that there are limited charges. I can't believe that I wasted them uh, straight away there. It's just typical. Uh, so you've got traveling garb, wondrous tunic. I'm going to see whether I can equip. Oh, uh, I can't by the looks of things. There's, there's like no items in there to be able to equip. Uh, let's go... Okay, so it's LT and RT to move these. Outpost tunic. So, basic armor worn by soldiers of the Veil. Vale. So, I want to put that onto somebody else. Equip. Ah, there you go. So, ah, so he's the only one that can wear it. That's why. And it is better than what he's currently got. So, let's wear that. Uh, it's also got Ash different things in there. It tells us what they do. So, it looks like they're all using crafting, mainly. Alchemy recipes, things like that. I don't think any of that's going to be too interesting at the moment. Is there anything else? No. Still got a little exclamation mark on the thing. So, ah, now it's gone away. Alright. Journal, nothing in there. And then we've got that as well. And then we've got the world map. With some stats as well. Okay, cool. So I've played for 19 minutes so far. Alright. Uh, I wonder, I don't think we should heal up just yet, should we? So it says a moderate amount. I don't know what a moderate amount is. And then we don't get our next skin until level 10. Retto. Okay, but the treasure chest worth it. Should we do some more combat? I like the XP. Let's go for it. I know that there's a couple of dudes down here, so let's go for them. Okay, it says that uh, I don't know how to use his skill to initiate combat, but we get haste when we do it. I think that might be when we're like walking around and can actually use our skills properly. This one's just a spider, so it should be relatively easy. I'm not going to use all my mana on this. I am. At, uh, I'm wondering at the moment whether you have to use potions to get your mana back up. Oh, it looks like I probably could have done that. Before. Started. Yeah, I'm not sure whether we have to use potions to get our mana back up. Or whether there will be times in the game where you just get instant heals and, and mana. Maybe if you go visit a town or something like that, maybe rest for the night. You know, like when you have a long rest in uh, Dungeons and Dragons as well. You get everything back, don't you? And I hope to do that because I, I am one of those people that potion saves a lot. So we're going to just straight up punch here. Get him sundered. I think we can maybe just... So you can parry, reduce all damage taken by 40% until next turn. It's attack rise back, it's attack power increase. Uh, I'm going to try and take him down. In yeah, oh, okay, fair enough. Garrison does a lot of damage. I just noticed there that they've all got question marks on their health. I wonder if when we've got, um, is it Norman? If when we've got Norman with us, I'm thinking maybe we'll be able to like inspect them, know the health of them as well, so that we can actually, I don't know, strategize our turns a little bit better. But there we go, got some, a bit of loot. And some XP there, getting closer to levelling up. Okay, so we're going to go this way up here. Um, there was another treasure chest up around there. Now, I'm trying to go off the path here, but you can't. Because I, I see that there is a little hut over there, but I don't think we can actually get to it. So I'm going to go all the way around this way, because I knew that there's a guy on the bridge. And we want to get as much XP as possible. A bit of mid-maxing here, maybe. Oh, there we go. So we've got two enemies this time. <laughs> Garrison's saying just run. Uh, which is not what's going to happen. Scatter shot deal 16 damage in that okay so we're gonna scatter shot because there's two enemies oh I think she has to take like a, a load up to do that because it looks like she's thinking and now garrison let's gut punch spider get him sundered Paste up okay and now on garrison he could plead couldn't he I don't know if this takes. It says very fast. 
So I don't know whether I could do that like straight away or not. I'm going to put this one on there as well. Okay, so there you go. She launched the rock. That's that dead. And then he cleaved that. I didn't really need to use the cleave if I thought that through. I'm not too sure about the actual economy so far. Uh, maybe I need to pay a little bit more attention to the left-hand screen there. And then a good much shot this one. Yep, there we go. He is down. We did it. Nice one. We're getting closer, getting closer to that level up. I'm quite excited to see how the level again works on this. Alright, let's keep going. So we're going to head this way. I want to get to that treasure that's over there eventually. Um, but yeah, I think we've got to go this way, haven't we? So we're in the Forest Vale at the moment. I wonder if we're going to link up with Monica soon. Okay, I know there's treasure up there. Let's inspect the signpost. North is Harm's Way and South is the Wilderness. Uh, I believe the town we spotted is just north of here. Perhaps we should head there before exploring further. I can take a hint. <laughs> Come on then. I can definitely take a hint. Let's go this way. Ah, so we do have a town called Harm's Way. When it said Harm's Way, I didn't realise that that was like an actual town. I thought it was kind of like saying like stay away from there. Okay, so there's no people. Let's bang on a few doors. Uh... So we found the town. There we go. There's an inn and tavern there. Uh, that's Greenbeard's Smithy. Ooh, let's go in here. The heavy iron door, radiant furnace, and um, proliferation of matter working. Okay, this must be a smith's shop. Should we open them? Yeah, let's go for it. Smith. Hey. <laughs> of course, he's a dwarf. Who the hell are you? With beard in his name that's as well. That's a rough way to greet strangers. <laughs> Being strangers, you don't know how rough we get around. I suppose we're gonna learn quickly. Hey, skin's got to be thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. <laughs> and your hammer better be heavy. Yeah, yeah, I've got Speaking a heavy hammer. Of forsaken lands, how did you lot end up here? Uh, we crashed, yeah. Airship. As we approached, they pirates were pirates. Pirates, pirates with a ship as big as that. My goodness. Though not quite. Pirates, as you say. Yeah, I was thinking. Bandits. Oh, Some bandits. Just thugs full of hot air. But they've been bandits. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, they work for. Bandits. They work for well, themselves. Said. Okay. They've been acting differently. Ooh. Okay, so they, they've now got a leader. Somebody's organizing these guys. A bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. Mm -hmm. We think they may have them or know where they are. We'd like to chat with them. <laughs> chat. <laughs> A few weaklings came by causing trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. You can head that Oh, uh, okay. South. Okay, so that's where I was going to go initially. We don't. Keep your head up. Ah, uh, there you might be a camp. Pay. Okay. Yeah, so, can I still chat with him? Yep. Be Never mind. Careful. Okay. I, I thought I might be able to buy some weapons off him. Uh, there is an inn and tavern. There looks like a potion shop here as well. Curious shop. Let's knock on here. Oh, nobody answers. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's the inner tower. I'm going to go to the inner tower last, I think. This is the Book of Secrets. Rip the sign down and throw it in the dirt. Oh, he's gone out to lunch. Okay. Ooh, Beastmaster. Okay. I think this must be some kind of arena, right? So, Untamed Beast. Yeah, the island's littered with them. The slimes and bats in the woods. You're in for worse than that. Okay. Looking for friends, not in trophies. Indeed, when you get lost. Use some basic advice. Take this mystery journal. Oh, okay. Thanks. Track the creatures you'll find. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, this is the thing. So I was saying before about the question marks on the HP. And obviously, they put the question marks there, which means that we might eventually be able to learn them. I was thinking maybe it was uh, Norman, the wizard dude, could help us find them. But I think instead it may be this book. I think if we run into them enough, we'll kind of like get used to what HP they have and such. Survive long enough and I'll point you towards more worthy tests. You may find it necessary when searching your friends. Anyhow, okay, cool. Don't get killed. I'll try not to. So the beastry is now in the compendium. So if I go into here, go down, there's the beastry. Ah, okay, so we've got the ruined spider. That's a new one. All right, so we don't know its health or attack power and things like that. Oh, okay, so if we slay more of them, we get extra things. Uh, the next unlock is stats and ability details. At the moment, it looks like so. If you look at the top right there, there's a, a purple bar. It looks like I've unlocked two things on there, um, which is probably the location, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's a small spider. I'm gonna come off this. It tells us what it drops as well. Okay. 
Let's have a look at the bat as well. Okay, so we've slain two of those. So again, don't know too much about it. We don't even know what it drops. Green slime, again, we've only slain two. So we need to slay more of them by the looks of things. Um, as the wizard tells out for lunch. Let's see this one. What's this? This is the collector. Oh, I can browse wares. Okay. This costs 10 something. I don't know what it is, but it is a booty bleed. Lucky blade of the high seas. Wielders claim they sometimes happen upon extra treasure in their travels. Ah, so it increases gold found and go back by 20%. That would be really good to have. I mean, that basically pays for itself, doesn't it? Huh. Never mind. Bye. Oh, sorry. Hex only clicked on you again. Oh, you're a creepy dude. Alright, let's have a look at the potion shop. I suspect that this is probably... Yeah, yeah, this was the one that was locked, wasn't it, as well? Okay, let's go to the inn. Stay a while. Okay, so it costs 11 gold to rest, but I think what that does is... Must give you health back and such. Oh, so I've got this stuff. Alright. Granny's brew and pie. Restoring 20 health. Okay, that's alright. Okay, for a few battles. So that that's that's pretty good actually. A favourite um a favourite around the time Kickstarter Fest. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh this this was indeed a Kickstarter game, wasn't it? Increases attack power by forty for a few battles, but will leave you tied once the effect wears off. Okay. Defense twenty four and common ale increases attack power as well. Alright, I don't really want any of those. I can sell items as well. Uh, no, he doesn't want any of that yeah, stuff. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I could, just before we actually leave, let's uh, let's chat with him as well. Okay, what tavern is this? The Z Disemboweled Traveller. They've gone for a very dark theme with the yeah, names, haven't they? Seat. And that's, that's it. Alright, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stop it here whilst we're in the town nice and safe and then we'll come back to it freshly faced for a new adventure next time.